Hey y'all. <clears throat> Gonna talk today about movies that feature pop smoking and pop smokers. And uh, while I do it, I'm gonna smoke some Bengal slices. This is actually the first time I've ever smoked this plant and I'm gonna open the tin on camera for y'all. So here we go. If we can get a hiss. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Man, this smells interesting. Mmm. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. So it's got some of this paper. A little plastic cover here. Let's see. Ooh. Really pretty. <clears throat> Mmm, smells like smoky black licorice. Mmm, all right, <clears throat> get it packed here. <clears throat> it's a nice, beautiful place. Check that out. Y'all see that? Yeah. So, uh, I love movies, and I always have. Uh, and when I got into pipe smoking, I started noticing in a lot of the movies that I've always loved, when somebody would be smoking a pipe, I'd be like, wow, look at there, that guy's got a pipe, that's great. And I would love that movie even more. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about a few of them. The first one is Sling Blade. Uh, that's the Billy Bob Thornton vehicle. I think it came out in the 90s. Uh, awesome sort of independent uh, sleeper hit. Um Billy Bob Thornton's role is great, but in that movie, one of the coolest characters in that movie, the character that believes in Billy Bob Thornton's character and, and trusts him and treats him just as good as anybody else, that character smokes a pipe. Uh, and he smokes it at the very beginning uh, and gets some kind of smoke going in the air and he smokes it a little bit later on on the film. Not that many times you see it, but uh, you do see him puffing on it. And... Uh, He's a great character, and you just love his character in the movie. So it's really cool that he's smoking that pipe. Sling Blade, great film. Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, but I'll, I love that it's got that guy smoking that pipe in there. Let's see. Getting this packed here. I'm smoking it in a, a Butch Chaqueen. I'm not sure if that's how you say that. Uh, this pipe was actually given to me by somebody really near and dear to me. And I cleaned it. I haven't really smoked it that much. Uh, I usually smoke uh, mostly sort of a lot of Kia blends out of it uh, because the person that I that owned it before me really loved a lot of Kia blends. Uh, and so it was really stinky when I got it and I cleaned it. And now I generally only smoke a lot of Kia blends in here. Almost got this packed. <clears throat> and we're going to fire it up. Let's see what Bengal slices taste like. Uh, the next movie uh, I want to talk about is Lord of the Rings trilogy. The original Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings trilogy loaded with pipe smoking. Everybody and their brother smokes a pipe in that movie. Uh, and it's really cool. There's so many scenes where they're just sitting there smoking their pipes, maybe talking about something, maybe sitting around waiting for something to happen. They'll pull those pipes out and go to puff. Uh, and there's just a bunch of great scenes. But with them, all these guys smoking pipes, the, all the main characters smoke pipes. All the, you know, I got to thinking today, it's really cool. In those, in that trilogy of films, the films themselves are great. The effects are great. Uh, Peter Jackson's direction was just wonderful. I love the films. I loved them when they came out. I was a kid, and I love them now. I still watch them periodically. I pull them out and loved. I always loved the pipe smoking in there too. Uh, but I got to thinking, you know, it's kind of cool in those movies. All the good guys smoke pipes, and none of the bad guys smoke pipes. So, you know, take for that what you will. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the Lord of the Rings, the original Lord of the Rings trilogy, uh, Peter Jackson trilogy, great, great uh, series of films, and they smoke pipes throughout the entire series, throughout all three films, all the way through the films they smoke all the time. So it's just it's an awesome thing to see. I'm fired his bingo slices up, first time ever. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Mm, it's good. Mmm. Real rich tasting. Next movie I want to talk about is the film Deliverance. And in that movie, John Voight's character smokes a pipe. Great uh, film. Awesome portrayal by everybody in there. Uh, everybody is really dedicated to their character in that movie. And John Voight's character smokes a pipe just uh, you know, about half the film until it's very disrespectfully taken away from him. But up until then, he, he, he has it just about every time you see him. He's puffing on that pipe, and, and it's great. And I, I remember when I first started smoking a pipe, uh, I drew uh, inspiration from him smoking that pipe there. They're out there camping, and he's smoking. They're, they're rafting, and he's, put, he's got his pipe in his mouth, and it's just awesome. And I remember thinking how cool it, he made it seem. And I, and I first started smoking, and I was like, if... if, if if it can be as cool as it seems to be to him in that movie, I, I, I could really get with it. And at the time, I think I was trying to supplement, you know, trying to kick the cigarettes and do the pipe smoking. And uh, that was at the very beginning of my journey. But I remember really liking John Boyd's character and the pipe smoking in there. And it just uh, it, it sort of helped me to kick my pipe smoking off, you know. So awesome movie, Deliverance, uh, filmed in Georgia beautiful uh geography beautiful videography work acting's phenomenal but i always thought it was really cool that his character smoked a pipe and his character is sort of a deep thinker uh sort of the quieter intellectual character I love that movie. Next movie I'm going to bring up is the movie Gremlins. <laughs> Steven Spielberg's Gremlins. Now, this movie's got pipe smoking from the word go. So from the time the guy's in Chinatown, uh, the, 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 the old Chinese man that actually you know, owns the shop, he's sitting there at the very beginning puffing that long pipe, puffing on that long church warden like pipe really look like he's content and enjoying it and then a lot of the let's see there's the guy i think the character's name is anderson that lives in the town just by every time you see that character he's puffing on a pipe Great movie, Gremlins. It's a it's got the Christmas aspect. Uh, there's sort of a, a little bit of horror in there. Uh, awesome movie. I just love it, you know, by itself. But then it's got all that pot smoking going on in it with the, the, the Anderson character. Uh, the, like I say, the guy at the beginning. Always like that part of it. Next movie, Jumanji. In that movie, uh, one of the main characters uh, smokes a pipe, and uh, like he just there's never really any mention of it, but he's just kind of doing his thing. And, and and in fact, more than one character smokes a pipe in that movie, and that's pretty cool. And it's just I don't know why you know that's in there but it's really cool there's the one guy that smokes a pipe and then he kind of goes away and the movie progresses and then another character comes into it that smokes a pipe that is sort of in the same place in the film it's it's really interesting uh but i always like that that about that movie jumanji that's a great film i love the the drums in that movie if you haven't seen jumanji it's about a, a board game uh that sucks you sucks you in and spits stuff out and it's great it's got some great drumming in it but uh 
pipe smoking in there. It's, it's noticeable. Bingo slices is mm. Mm. good stuff. Not really getting any licorice in the smoke. Mm. A little bit. But not nearly as much as this as the nose was giving me in the tin here. Uh, what am I tasting? It's good. There's some smokiness, definitely. There's a spice there that I, I can't nail it down. The combination of the taste and the smell together, though, it, it, it's nice. The next movie I'm going to bring up is Creep Show. The original Creep Show came out uh, in the 80s. Uh, George Romero, Stephen King. Love the film. Love the film. One of my favorite films, actually, of all time. It's just great. But it's also got some cool pipe smoking in it. A um, couple of characters. Smoke pipes, and then there's even some mention of of pipe smoking. Uh, uh, it's a horror film, and it's like there's different episodes, there's different chapters, and I, and I, I love movies like that. I love especially horror films that are kind of done uh, in, uh, one film, in different installments, different tales, different stories. Love that about Creep Show. But uh, one of the characters in one of the uh, stories makes a reference to some of the tobacco that one of the other characters smokes and says it makes you want to Ralph I don't never actually show that guy smoking that tobacco but it does show some other characters uh, smoking pipes there's a doctor and there's a scene where there's a doctor and he's on his desk he's got some got some pipes that's like in his office that's pretty cool but I love the movie Creep Show. the pipe smoking part is just icing on the cake for me there's so many other things about that movie that I love it so many things that about that movie that are great. But I love that there's some pipe smoking in it. Next movie I'm going to talk about is the movie Clue. Yep, Clue, based on the Parker Brothers board game. Awesome movie, comedy. Uh, got some, I wouldn't say horror, sort of some... Maybe even considered black comedy. But it's an awesome movie. It's silly. It's really silly. It comes from a silly vein of, of comedy. And it's got some... The actors in it are silly. Uh, but Christopher Lloyd's character smokes a pipe uh, pretty much throughout. And uh, and he really knows. looks like he knows what he's doing. A lot of times I always wonder, at least at these actors in these movies, do they actually smoke a pipe? Probably most of them don't. But it's, it's really sometimes... You know, if you if you were an actor and you did smoke a pipe, maybe they there would be a director that would let you bring that into the film because I feel like that gives a depth to a character that just just another layer of the character that's really cool. Um, but yeah, Christopher Lloyd's character in Clue, he he plays Professor Plum. You know, of course Professor Plum's gonna smoke a pipe, man. Yes, sir, re buddy, and he does. Yeah, but I love that movie, and I love to watch him puffing on that pipe. The movie, the film itself takes place in the 50s, uh, and so all the cars that they drive are old, clothes they're wearing, are, it, it's all period stuff. It's great, great movie, but the pot smoking just fits right in there, man. Next movie I'm going to talk about. 
Mm. Dances with Wolves. Love this movie. It's a Western. It's great. Awesome. Killer. Kevin Costner. Epic, epic Western. It's about Kevin Costner in the 1860s out west on the prairies and he meets up with some uh, Native Americans. And I really love the way they portray the Native Americans in this film. Uh, the light that they portray the Native Americans in, uh, my heart sings when I watch this movie. But it also portrays them smoking their pipes and it shows the, the pipes that they make, the, 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 the Indians. It's awesome, man. It's killer. The pipes that they make and they sit there and sit in their teepees and just puff away. And there's a really cool scene at the end where one of the Indians uh, uh, called Wind in His Hair and Kevin Costner, they have made friends and there's an, a scene with a pipe at the end that it just it really hits you, hits you hard. And I love that movie and I love the pipe smoking in that movie. And they just, you know, that it's, it's good. And I feel like those guys are really who we've got to thank for, for this. You know, we 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 owe the Native Americans. I feel like because they 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 were doing it and they showed us. You know, so very grateful for that. But that's a good one. Dances with Wolves and it, and the, some of the pipes that they make are awesome. This pipe's beautiful. You know, this is great. But some of the pipes that they make are just they're, they're this long and they have different sections. They almost look like a a totem pole like turned on, you know on its side with a bull at the end and they have feathers on them they're, they're beautiful man they're awesome good pipe yep dances of wolves <laughs> uh, let's see next one we're going to talk about is uh, this is a cartoon disney movie 101 dalmatians the original 101 dalmatians the main character in that film smokes a pipe the entire movie, just about. Every time you see him, he's, pu he, he's puffing away. Hey, now, you don't want any bingo slices. <laughs> uh, Roger, uh, the guy that owns the, the male Dalmatian, uh, yep, he puffs away on it. And, and it's really cool because his character is like a... a Again, he's sort of an intellectual character. He's a thinker. He's actually in this movie, in, the, in that uh, film, he's a, a musician, an artist, uh, and there's a, a a villain character, uh, Cruella, and she smokes cigarettes. And it's funny, it, you know. I noticed. I love that movie. I've seen it ever since I was a kid. But you know, getting into pipe smoking, I watch it now, and I, and I see when Roger's smoking his pipe on that movie. There's a, there's a, there's a a, a puff of smoke white smoke but it's not really uh clouding up it's not clinging around anybody it doesn't seem threatening but when cruella comes around she is smoking her cigarettes in this long cigarette holder and the the fume cloud that comes off of her cigarettes is always like a yellow fog in there anytime she's around and i just feel like that is so appropriate and true to life right there you know but uh yeah, it's really great. He, he 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 puffs away on his pipe the whole film. They go to the the park and hang out, and he puffs his pipe. He smokes inside in his house. You know, they're they're waiting on the puppies to be born, and he's nervous and he's p -p 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 puffing away. It's, it's it's awesome. 101 Dalmatians, the original Disney film, awesome movie too. I love it. I mean, my, uh, I watched it when I was a kid, and uh, it's great. Uh, so next one down is another cartoon. Uh, it's gonna be. Uh, Pinocchio, the original Pinocchio. I love this movie. Uh, it's great, but the main, the, the one of the main characters in this movie uh, smokes a pipe. Geppetto, the owner of the puppet, the wooden puppet, Pinocchio. Uh, he smokes a pipe. Really cool. I think they're supposed to be in Germany. Really cool German pipe, and he's actually got it hanging right by his bed. And before they go to bed at night, he gets it, just has a couple puffs. Really cool. And then uh, there's another character in the movie that smokes. Uh, a pipe and this is a villain that smokes a pipe and he is a really to me scary character the coachman he puffs away on a pipe like a freight train and he's a bad guy uh but yes sir there's another character that smokes a pipe and that's two in that film and 
Uh, there may even be some more smoking going on uh, throughout it, but I know for sure those two characters are pretty, you know, pretty prominent in the way they puff right, right, right along on their pipes. So, Pinocchio, yeah, awesome movie too. Anyway, just, just a great cartoon, uh, but got some pipe smoking in it. Uh, so let me tamp this bingo slices down. Whoops. Man, it is good. Really, uh, got a full taste to it. I mean, just a nice, full, round taste. It's nice. That was really my char light there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Smokiness is not overpowering at all. There's that spice. And it's really good. Mm, this is smooth. Um, so the next one we're going to talk about awesome classic film called White Christmas Bean Crosby and Danny Kay musical got Bean Crosby smoking his pipe of course awesome movie awesome movie it's one of those films I've only watched it twice because I love it so much and it's so special that I only watch it when I am really, really ready for it and really open to enjoying it every second, every line that is delivered by every character, every puff that Bing Crosby takes on his pipe. I want to see every second of it. I don't want to miss any of it. And so I haven't really, I've only watched the film itself twice, but I, I, I love it. Uh, I usually only watch it around Christmas time too. Uh, it's a it's a Christmas film. Uh, the music's great. The acting's great. Uh, you know they just don't make movies like that anymore. They don't. And the the pipe smoking and it, it it it's good. Bing's, you know he knows what he's doing. And just to see him on camera puffing it, uh, I love it. It's great. White Christmas, the original White Christmas. <laughs> and the next one, it's kind of in that same vein. It's a Wonderful Life, the Christmas film. It's a Wonderful Life, Jimmy Stewart. Awesome movie, awesome, awesome movie. I remember the first time I saw that movie. It wasn't that like two years ago, around Christmas time. And I tell you, man, that movie just, it'll really put things in perspective for you. A couple characters smoke pipes in that movie. Uncle Billy smokes a pipe in that movie. And of course, Jimmy Stewart. Couple scenes, he's puffing, puffing along. I think that movie's from the '40s, and uh, you know everything is just old in that movie, and it's it's awesome. I've actually got the, I think it was originally in black and white. I've got the color version, and uh, I, I I love it. It's awesome. I love Christmas films anyway. Mingo slices is good stuff. I'm gonna have a swig of water here. <sighs> yep. It's a wonderful life. Next one I'm gonna bring up. Another Western, uh, 
comes from a trilogy of westerns. They're all great. They're all awesome. But the one I'm bringing up is For a Few Dollars More. It's the name of the film. Lee Van Cleef's character just freight trains his pipe in this movie and looks so classy doing it. It's awesome. I think it... Uh, he really smoked a pipe in real life. I'm pretty sure Lee Van Cleef, awesome actor. But it's a Western. It's a Clint Eastwood Western. It's one of those spaghetti Westerns. It's actually one of the Sergio Leone, uh, uh, I think it's uh, the Dollars Trilogy. Yeah, it's the second film in that trilogy. And Lee Van Cleef smokes his pipe, and it just looks so cool, man. It, it, every time I watch it, it makes me, if I don't smoke while I'm watching it, most the time I get done, I want to smoke a couple bowls. He really looks like he knows how to do it and he's enjoying it on camera. Mm. Next one I'm going to bring up is Fried Green Tomatoes. Love that movie. And it's just awesome to watch. But kind of later on in the film, there's a character, Rain or Shine's character, comes around and he, And he smokes a pipe. And he's sort of a... He's actually a... a, a he's, he's law enforcement. His character's a law enforcement character. But he, he's sort of a, a bad guy in the movie. And he puffs his pipe. It sort of seems intimidating <laughs> with it. But... I always like to see it come on camera. Well, yeah, these are just some movies that I love anyway. And when I realized I had pipe smoking in them, it took my love of these films to another level. And, 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 and as a pipe smoker, you you just you want to see pipe, other people smoking their pipes. You want to see stuff about pipe smoking, and you know you want to see different pipes. And it's just it's awesome when you're watching a movie and a character pulls out a pipe and goes to puffing away. It just my heart sings, and I love it. And I always take note of it. And it always it's always going to make me more interested in either that character or that scene or that movie. It adds something to me, and I really like to see it in films. Uh, I'm going to mention a couple more here just really quick. They, they, I tried to keep it to, oh, I tried to keep it to uh, films that had characters that actually smoked the pipes and it was kind of recurring throughout the film. Uh, but I'm going to mention a few that just have pipe smoke, smoking or smokers in them sort of briefly that are films that I love anyway. Really quick, uh, Carrie. Uh, you guys are familiar with the horror, Stephen King horror film Carrie? The principal in that movie. Uh, has a, a, a stand on his desk, you know, a bunch of pipes in it and some tobacco in the middle, and there's a scene where he's kind of uncomfortable, and he's talking to, to Carrie, and he's sort of nervous, and he's just, the whole time he's fiddling with his pipe, and it's just, I, I, I like it, it's great. Uh, in the movie Jaws, one of my mo most favorite movies of all time, maybe my favorite movie of all time. I love it. There's a really cool scene in there where uh, an old seaman just sort of walks out of this shop and he's just got this pipe and he's puffing away on it. It's really iconic looking. Uh, so yeah, there's that cool scene in Jaws. Uh, the movie The Parent Trap, Lindsay Lohan. Uh, Lindsay Lohan's character, uh, her grandfather, smokes a pipe and she tells him in that movie, she says, you know, I'm always going to remember my grandfather. I'm always going to remember that he smelled like peppermint and pipe tobacco. <laughs> and it's, that's really cool. Uh, and the movie The Wizard of Oz. Classic film. Love it, love it, love it. Always down to watch that anytime, anywhere, any time of day. Uh, Charlie Greatwind's character, uh, I think it's his name. Uh, it's Dorothy's father. He's got a, a cob hanging from his mouth in a scene. <laughs> and it's just really cool. You know, that movie's from a time when those whole farmers, that's, that's what they did, man. They puffed on them cobs. And just stuff that tobacco in there and went about their work. And, uh, you know, hey, I can appreciate that. Man, this Bengal slices is really good. I'm going to give it another tamp. Give it another puff. If you haven't seen any of these movies, check them out. They're awesome in their own right.
Mm. These finger sausages is good stuff. I'm gonna have to smoke a few more bowls and you know see what we think. What? I'm enjoying it so far. Yep, I love movies and I love pipe smoking and it's always great when stuff that you love just kind of comes together like that. 